Go. All right, John Sierra with ASC Exteriors doing a repair tent video out here for Mr. Lee Sullivan. We're coming right now. Uh, it's 42 degrees and it is 11 a.m. It is a three tap shingle, severe damage all throughout. And uh, the shingle that we're going to be attempting to repair is this one right here. You can clearly see the crease. Uh, it's unsealed. That spine is snapped. Uh, because of the size of the shingle and how these type of shingles are installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline it. That's the shingle in question. This is going to be the one that we're going to attempt to replace. In doing that, however, I'm going to disrupt one, two, three. Uh, da, 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 da. One, two, three, and then this one as well. That's the same one. Because it's nailed on the nail line, and then when the second shingle gets installed over it, when you nail that one, it hits the headlap of the shingle in question. Now I am going to have to drag my tool across these shingles as well, so that makes four and five total shingles that are gonna be disrupted or disturbed in some way, shape, or another, whether it's by dragging a tool to properly release the shingle, so we can do the attempt, uh, the attempt of repair. All right, so first things first. nail on the four panel. I always like to pull on it just in case it wasn't installed properly. In this case it was and it was nailed on the on the correct line. That's why it's not pulling out. If it would have been high nailed then this next row wouldn't have hit the head, head lap and it would have been an installation error. At this point it is not. Let's keep it going. I guess that's one of the four, six, seven shingles to get this next row up and out. So we are experiencing some pull through in trying to get the nail out. Just kind of shows you the, the condition of the shingle. Uh, it is pretty brittle. Again, the sun's been beating on it all day, 42 degrees. It should be very pliable at this point. It is not. That one's released, that one's released. That one's good. All right, good. All right, so this should release now. Beautiful. All right, so there's a shingle. There's a crease in question. Uh, you can see it was nailed correctly. No high nails. This type of shingle is a certain teed. Some of these are still in manufacturing. Let's see, it's gonna come down to measurements. 36 inches wide. Keystone is right at five inches and the entire height of the shingle is 12 inches, so if I'm not mistaken, we'll have to either send it off or reference it uh, according to what we see is still available or not. You can see here the pull through that, uh, that I'm talking about. So it was installed properly, but what's happening is in the attempt to take the shingle out because the shingle's uh, not in a great condition, the nail's pulling through. So it's not an installation. Error. Let's take a look at what we got here. So we have 15 pound felt paper. And as you can see, it is stapled. So um, again, that's just not up to current building practices. So the system as itself is failing along with all the other damages that have occurred. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to slide the shingle back in there and reinstall it. Uh, just because 
any other shingle on the market, there is no size to match it, 12 inch shingle. Uh, and now we're gonna attempt to put it back in. So, bear with me while I get some of these nails out. So first things first, nails, so the nail will have to go in a different hole, not the same hole, right, to properly fasten the shingle, and then also we're going to have to come back and hand seal all of these tabs back down. Uh, just with our experience, we've noticed that shingles, once they're pried apart mechanically, like we've just done to get this one out, seldom do they seal back down on their own with their current strips because you know we had to unfortunately alter it. So let's check one, two, we're good, three. Good there, that one's down, that one's down, and that one is down. All right, so now let's check and see. As you can see here, this shingle's now compromised. This shingle's now compromised as well. This one, and yeah, this current roofing system will not accept a repair because of the condition of the shingle. And it is our strong recommendation, professional recommendation, the entire roofing system be replaced. Thank you.